to me as problem, reaction, solution. It works like this. You um, want to change society in a certain way here. You know that if you announce that openly, you're going to get an adverse reaction from the people. Imagine if the changes that have happened since 9-11 in terms of the destruction of uh, freedoms and civil liberties had been proposed without 9-11. What? What are you doing? We're doing. We're not, this is a fascist state. We're not having this. Oh, well, no, we've got to have it because it's terrorists. You know, problem, reaction, solution. So, you don't announce it openly. You, at stage one, create a problem. Terrorist bomb. I'm coming out. <laughs> Terrorist bomb. Um, I've got a wire loose. <laughs> I read that in the mirror once. He's got a wire loose, he said. They're right. <laughs> <laughs> and you create a problem, terrorist bomb, war, run on a currency, credit, crunch, rising food prices, anything that will allow you to offer the solution you want to change society. You then tell the people the version of the problem that you want them to believe, i.e. Bin Laden did this, Lee Harvey Oswald did this, and the pathetic mainstream media, instead of investigating the official version, just repeat it to the people, and the people at stage two um, are supposed to react, and most of the time they do. React with outrage, with fear, and they say, something must be done, this can't go on, what are they going to do about it? At which point, those who covertly created the problem got that reaction, offer the solutions to the problems they have themselves covertly created, and those solutions are changes in society which advance the Orwellian state and the centralization of power so the few can have more and more power over the many by this centralization of power. So uh, if you look at the Second World War, these bloodlines uh, were behind Soviet communism, they were behind the capitalist countries or uh, cartelist countries in truth um, uh, of the West and they were behind, including America, and they were behind Nazi fascism bringing Hitler to power. They then bring them in conflict, called a Second World War. Massive problem. The Second World War in just a few years. And people were saying, in their uh, desperate state, something must be done, this can't go on. They were open to stop this, stop this, no more war. And so we got the solution, we'll centralize global power. So out of this came the European Union, that was justified too, let's, let's trade instead of fight, which sounded good at the time, but actually that wasn't the agenda. The United Nations and an explosion of centralization uh, of power in banking and business and politics on a global level, justified by the problem. None of which would happen, have happened had it not been for the Second World War, which these bloodlines funded, including the Bush family. The George Bush's grandfather, Prescott Bush, was one of the major conduits for funding Hitler through a company called the Union Banking Corporation that interfaced with the um, banking and uh, steel empire of a, gang, a guy called Fritz Tyson in Germany, who was an acknowledged funder of Hitler. And through that, how does anyone think that Germany went from thousands of percent inflation to a war machine that can take on the world in a few years because of outside influence and support, because they wanted that war. There's even another version of this now called No Problem Reaction Solution, i.e. weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. <laughs> you don't even need a real problem. You just need the perception of it. It's all a bloody mind game.